As you can see I've now got this stepper motor wired up and running. It's been driven by a TB6600 micro stepping driver which I purchased off eBay. The uh, driver itself is being, uh, or rather it's got a pole signal coming from my function generator so I can just easily just uh, test uh, different speeds on like this. So I uh, went a little bit too fast there so let's just go to a moderate speed. Yeah, so it's working well. Um, really didn't have to do anything to the motor other than just extend the wires out. Let's just zoom out a little bit with my camera. Uh, extend the wires and have uh, some braided sleeving on as well. So let's just take a quick look at that. The wires originally went to a plug which was mounted in there. I didn't want that. That wasn't a convenient interface for me. So I cut off the wires. Didn't leave me much wire to play with then. Uh, however, uh, using this wire, quite a heavy gauge actually, heavier than, than was actually on the motor. I've uh, soldered sorta the uh, wires, uh, heat shrink, fairly small diameter heat shrink over the solder joints, uh, put the braided sleeving on and then a larger diameter heat shrink that uh, is uh, holding those uh, four wires together plus it stops the braided sleeving from fraying. If you don't control the fraying, it's an absolute nightmare. You really, really do want to control the fraying. I suppose you could just put a cable tie around. It wouldn't look as good. I think a little bit of heat shrink on uh, looks pretty good. And it's very, very robust as well. So, yeah. So, uh, overall, I'm really quite happy with that. If you want to have a quick look at the model number, well, I'll probably post it in the video. So, it says uh, MSC MO 48 a 50 There's a space O2. RG5-0765 space 5421. So I'm not too sure which one's the model number. I think it's the top one. However, that's only going by what I've seen on the internet. Could very well not be the right one as well. So not too sure. The only things I am sure, yes, it's definitely a bipolar stepper motor. I'm sure of that. It's got four wires. It's stepping. It's running. It's easy for me to control as well. So yeah, overall. Oh, by the way, just in case you're interested, I'm currently running it uh, 32 volts, fraction over 32 volts, and it's drawing only 100 milliamps. That's what my um, variable power supply says anyway. So. Uh, yeah, I think it's quite good. This might be quite a useful uh, motor for future projects. Okay, I'll end the video there.